zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds. It delivers a thousand foot-pounds of torque all the way through any legal speed limit in the U.S. It's over 500 horsepower, but critically, it can also be fast charged in 30 minutes. Three, two, one. It's the body of a modified Shelby, but it's what's inside that's pushing the limits of technology. Meet the Renovo Coupe, the world's first supercar for the racetrack or road using only battery power. Not to be confused with the Tesla, the Renovo's targeting a different market. Those types of vehicles are primarily focused at increasing massive amounts of range so that they can drive 300 miles. Uh, and reducing the cost as much as possible. We're on the other end of that. We want to have the lowest weight car, we want to have the fastest accelerating car, we want to have the highest performance car. Using twice the voltage of any EV on the market today, the battery packs are split into multiple pieces for weight distribution. The car combines the power of a computer with horsepower. Uh, computers play a huge role in how this car operates. However, Underneath the skin of the car, there's 80 embedded microprocessors, there's four high-speed CAN data networks. We stream all of that data over the, uh, over, over the air to the cloud. So if you have a problem with the car, do you go to the computer first or do you take it in to get it repaired? Well, what's great about the telemetry system is the car will actually tell us if it has a problem. So our cell phones will buzz or a light will go off on a dashboard here at the, at the headquarters. And along with that specialization comes a hefty price tag, over $500,000 for the custom limited edition Renovo Coupe. We're using battery technology that's 10 times as expensive as what you might find in a Nissan Leaf. We're employing uh, you know, control strategies that require components that are a little bit exotic today. I mean, there's a reason why they call them exotic cars, because they use exotic components and exotic materials. So that's what we need to achieve the amazing levels of performance that the Coupe delivers. In the next three to five years, that's going to come down significantly in cost. That will open up new markets for ourselves. Nothing would make us happier than to see a Renovo badge on a vehicle under $100,000, and we think that that's certainly achievable. The makers say it's just the beginning. Making an EV so powerful opens the door to a long road of innovations.